Welcome back to another episode mm-hmm. of Stoppage Time TV. All the socials and whatnot will be in the description somewhere. Um, a lot has happened this week. A lot that we have to discuss. Don't look at your phone now. We've got to discuss that. <laughs> like, well, the camera's the camera's rolling. We started, we started, yeah. So <laughs> we, let's start off where we usually start off. Who wants to know what the streets have been saying? Let's go. Let's go, man. The streets have said that North London looks like Gotham City right now. <laughs> Boy. That's what the streets have said. The streets have said there's no life in North London. It's, yeah, it's bad, man. <laughs> bad how, 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 how are you feeling? Is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, it's shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's first time pain, boy. First time experience. I don't know, man. It's, it's weird. It's weird because uh, I feel like it was the worst, probably... I think we probably had the best Champions League season, but then the worst final sort of to it. Uh, I think Liverpool had a shocking <laughs> performance, to be honest, but then we didn't do ourselves any favour. I think Liverpool were there for the taking, but Poch takes a risk of starting Harry Kane, even though I said last week I don't think he should. It's a gamble, and he looked so unfit, so mm. ineffective. Harry Winks the same, started him, and took him off, what, 55th minute for Eric Dyer. I mean, what? difference does that make like really instead if Dio plays so <laughs> it's over to be fair <laughs> Winks was but buzzing around a little bit I think Winks was good anything. I he think Winks was he was doing you're better midfielder if, if we're going to be fair none of your players were doing anything nobody was doing anything I mean, Danny Rose was good. every Danny time Rose was Danny Rose, Rose was tried game, yeah. Lo- 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 hard. tried in parts had a couple of shots where he saved yeah, but it's one of those I think as a as a whole it really showed our own experience at that level yeah definitely it was one of those where how Ajax, how I was saying Ajax looked in the semi-final against us in that second half. Hmm. No composure, no kind of hunger for it. Like I think, I think every player of, looked... Like lack of killer instinct rather. Because even like in the second lack half... Lack of, sorry? Uh, killer instinct from Spurs. Okay. Because even uh, I think Spurs in the, in the second half, in the, I, I think eight shots... I don't even think we created any chances though to even have killer instinct. Yeah. I mean, like yeah, we had, I mean, the that, whole game had three shots on target. True, I mean, true. that's how bad the game no, was. We only had half. one. It was, all long, it was all long shots as well. It wasn't a great game, but it was one of those where usually if Liverpool put in a bad performance like that, that's where you kind of got to capitalise. Mm-hmm. And for me, tactical errors from Poch, the players not looking like they're up for it, but... We've shown literally that we didn't deserve to be champions. Was it a winners. bad performance from Liverpool? Or was it just them being pragmatic? That's the other yeah. thing. I don't want to discredit Liverpool I as well. Yes. It's, uh, it's a mature, 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 definitely a mature. Job <coughs> they made your best player this season look dog rubbish. Is that? Out of his depth. <laughs> I think so I Soka think once, once you get a goal, once yeah. you get a goal so early, and that's the thing though, it's I feel they could have pushed on as well. Anytime you have a final as well though, you kill a final when you give a penalty in the first minute, and I'm yeah. sorry, it was a pen though, man. nah, because listen, usually they go to VAR, they usually go to VAR or whatever, but for some reason there was no VAR, no nothing, and. Well, uh, for the correct me if I'm wrong, here, but is it not intentional handball? Not if the ball hits off your no, chest. But your hand, your but hand. your hand is out like that. Why yeah. is this hand? That's, 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 that's unnatural position. Right? That's unnatural. <laughs> you can't tell him watch the overlap run. We no, always, say, we always say that. that's an no, unnatural, uh, unnatural position. But the man, fact that's a that pen. there was no review, like I thought, it was intentional handball is what we give. Like Whoa. Sissoko did not stick his hand out intending this to stop it. This is the problem, though. But his hand is but that that pen is in line with every pen that's been given this year in the Champions League. So nothing's going to change. That's not similar to Kim Pembe. No, but it's in most pe- the most pens that have been given in, in Champions League this year have been exactly like that. was the Kim Pembe mm. incident for me. Ever since yeah, then, I, I, I don't think that was a pen. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that was a pen. But ever since then, it's like anything that hits the hand, you've got to give them. It's like, oh, we've got to give it. It's like, no, we have to have intention. in it. And and I'm sorry, but when we've had the type of Champions League season we have, like to kill the game off in the first minute, that... I'm not going to lie to you, that sucked the soul out of Tottenham. They look yeah, dead they after no that. There ain't no sentiment out here. The thing is, we don't... Nothing, you, you, know, reckon, listen, you ain't getting sentiment points, yeah. trust me. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not happening. No one wants it, trust me. That's not happening. I, I have to be, I have to be Go honest. for it. Like, Spurs looked... I don't know if diabolical is harsh, but... <laughs> yeah, when I, what did I say a to you? A man turns up in a truck, yeah. Poch looked like he had the freshest trim. Like... Bro, what did, wait, that, what did I say, though? Didn't I say... Um, this Spurs Hold team. Hold on, first, first, can we acknowledge your your kit this week? 
The kitchen. It's a nice kit. <laughs> well, Charles What's going on there? 1920, man. <laughs> Charles so, uh, what is it? A raffle kit, like. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. Okay. listen. Didn't I say? I just to address. <laughs> didn't I say that this Spurs side? I didn't know our kit has a bit of red in it, but anywho. Oh, what? Is yeah, that United top underneath that as well? No, I didn't know. No, 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 no. Yo, under that neck there, neck area there. What's going on? Oklahoma multi kit nah, wearer. Listen, yeah. Mm. I said, I said um, privately that Spurs Pri- are arguably really? the worst team. No, nah, I said they're arguably the worst <laughs> team to ever play in the Champions League final, and I was correct. I was standing correct. That, you look at that lineup. If they won the Champions League, do, does that look like a Champions League winning team? No, it's honest, honestly, honest, honestly. Like, I'll it? be honest. We're not, we're not doing this. No, because at the end of the day, right, a, cha- a final is what two teams that play for ninety mm-hmm. minutes, if not longer, right? Therefore, it's a shootout. Whether you're a poor team, you're a good team, whatnot, because Port have won the Champions League. Mm. Yeah, they, the played, they played they Monaco. Played, no, they but the moral of the story is, like you've mentioned, let's sum it up. You, as your team, did not turn up. Yeah. So let's not make it look pretty. You didn't turn up. <laughs> if you turned up, you could have won. Pretty. The team is not good enough. The team it's didn't not, turn up. It not it's pretty. Good enough. You know, know, are you going to tell me now? Because you we said it last week. You just said that Liverpool looked rubbish. Liverpool were the favourites to win it. But you just said that Liverpool didn't look good. Liverpool, Liverpool are the better team. But you just said that. You just said that. That was expected. That was not the better team. Yeah, yeah. Liverpool didn't look great. The thing is, Liverpool. So therefore, if you turn up, you stand half a chance. Yes no, or no? But Liverpool <laughs> Did play. Spurs turn up? Yes well, or no? Both teams turn up, though. Both teams like, turn you're up. You're so acting like, because it's a final, <laughs> it's level footing and anything. Could, I I'm get what saying you're saying. I'm saying that Liverpool were the better day, team and they showed it. But you didn't help yourselves either. We didn't, yes of course we didn't. There we go. Uh, for me, go. for me, what stood out is... Same as Arsenal as well. They didn't help themselves either, but wait, we'll wait, get into that. For me, that. what stood out <laughs> is that it's not even about... I think Spurs defensively played fine. I think in midfield, it wasn't too bad. You were getting into the forward areas quite a lot. It's that, it was that final ball, or that final there. bit of quality. And what was disappointing, the most disappointing thing was that that lack of quality, I think, was coming from your better players. It was coming from Ali. It was coming yeah. from Ericsson. Yeah. Ericsson. Yeah. Ericsson. Son. MIA. I'm sorry, like, yeah. Ericsson. Is, <coughs> he's, I don't want to hear talk about Ericsson as a world-class player because no, he's not. He's I not. I, I think he's a very good player, but that, was your that level, that exposed him. Yeah. He... He was making some poor decisions. Deli Ali again, non-existent. Gets moved into centre mid. I said about him in centre mid. Poor <laughs> Poor again. Like I just think the back and obviously Harry Kane. He couldn't get involved, and I felt sorry for Spurs at times because there were so many attacks that I was just looking at Kane's movement. I was like, and it just I can't even help get them out. Them I want to. I want to. I think. I think, I think when, the, when the we game, spoke last week, well, I said that being fit and being match are two different things. You said he should come off the bench. You said that if your key man's fit, he should start. And I get that point. But my key thing here is when we've also said that but the Spurs tend to play. Said if he, no, if, no, no. If Spurs lost that. and he didn't win, they'll be saying, oh, Kane 100%, was fit. But listen, this thing. is about winning. It's not about what they're going to write in the papers. Mm. Mm. We've mm. always said that Spurs, for some weird reason, look like they play a bit better without him. It doesn't mean that they're a better side, but yeah. they play a bit better. They move it quicker. We're almost relying on King Exactly. When you yeah. see your talisman on the pitch, you're kind of thinking, oh, the ball's got to get to him. Mm. The ball didn't get to him once no, in the first no. half. He and, was a passenger. And it, and it wasn't even a thing where it wasn't And the thing is, if you've got he Van Dijk at the, the back, runs to get on the yeah, end of if the you've got Van Dijk at the back looking at that, you think... And that I think so like even the way Spurs set up, like was just different class. Yeah, even even the way Spurs set up as well, they, they should have had, uh, they should have gone with the, with the three, usually with, uh, with when the pl- Kane fit uh, a few months ago, they had the son on the left, Eric's on the right, and that would have engaged the two to the, the two wing backs of Liverpool. And for some reason, because they went kind of narrow with the two Son yeah, and Kane, went narrow. That, yeah. that obviously gave, um, obviously, uh, and the, I've said it before, three, I don't think Son in that more central position does better. I always think he does better coming Who? off the wide position, Who? Son. Yeah. Son, yeah. you think he does better uh, wide? does better when he's coming out drifting wide. I think mm. some, he's, he's shown he can sort of fill in the mm. striker role, but I don't think that's his natural position. Yeah. I think he yeah. likes having that drifting role coming in. But but we should give, I think with we should give props to Liverpool as well. Because props no, I mean, props going, going up 1-0, going up 1-0 in two minutes, you can easily get too ahead of yourself mm-hmm. or whatever. They just completely they nullified the game. The it was game. a mature and that performance, was, yeah. And it was, just, it was typical of Liverpool's season mm. for, let's say, Mo Salah or Mane to score an opener yeah. and Liverpool to have a clean sheet. Like, yeah. it's just... For that me, was that just was a, that was just thing, a yeah. perfect description of their season. Mm. And again, everyone coming out of the game, we're speaking about Van Dijk. Again, mm. another reflection of Liverpool's season. I mean, and the full-backs again. It was just, mm. it was I mean, just too... He's, he's too class at the moment. He's too good. I think that their money's worth. I mean, they'll... 
the few shots we did have, mm. Alisson mm-hmm. pulled them off with ease. But I mean, made like eight saves. We, total yeah, total. but it's we mad. like literally. I think Liverpool for what they've done this mm. season in the Premier League for individually they how they play, mm. they deserve credit Let's and deserve the something. Quickly, though, because mm. for me, there's a few things that were very interesting in the game. Um, for me, no, not affecting the game brings on Origi. What happens? Origi scores a goal. Changer. Pochettino had so to make subs and whatnot, well. but in terms of where we've seen Klopp's progression to now. He's making key subs. At the end of the game, brings on Gomez to close it down. Is he reaching that level where it's kind of like, okay, he's the real deal? Whereas with Pochettino, we've seen it a few times in key matches now mm. where the substitutions, we can say lack of depth on the bench, mm. but the personnel and substitutions, the decisions, it's, it's looking a bit... Some games it's great. Some games it's like, no. It's yeah, not. Th- I think the difficulty for, for Poch is that if, for, let's just say in an example, it's, yeah. it's, he wanted to take Harry Kane off, for example. Yeah. I think we're going to have to talk about his depth. I think because of his depth, he has to sometimes look at it and think, I have to maybe change the formation or change Mm -hmm. anything Mm -hmm. to get maybe an equal outcome out of this. Whereas, because you don't, the like for like is so off that it's it's Lorente for Kane, that that is just just too much of a a difference. I think that Poch has to overthink it a little bit. Whereas Klopp can just be like, no, well, now I'm not going to start sitting here and saying Origi's I just world think, class, but, but it can know, just be a bit something. more. Yeah. But at the, the same time, why, approach, why yeah. put yourself in that situation where you know that you had a team and bear in mind, right, let's not go into it too much, but change room dynamics are a key thing, right? You've got someone that scored a hat trick in the Champions League final Bro. and the whole that, team are looking at this Bro. guy like, you know what, you've done it for us. You now leave Deserve him to. out of the game. Mm. You feel like people are not going to be looking around like, why is he not I playing? I think that destroys the confidence even before the game started because like, you, uh, he should have changed the system. He should have kept it as it is, and like we said, book came on, and then it would be a different like game. For I me, think. it was one of those even at half time where changes should have been made because we were so poor in the first half. Yeah. Both against were, Ajax, that's yeah. what he did, and I mm. thought, yo, that's Liverpool the one made two changes before you made one. This yeah. is what I was just about to mm. say, and I'm like, wh- how are Liverpool? And they're the winning team. And, 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 and that was the back of Liverpool not having a great first half either. Exactly. I mean, Klopp is a top manager though. Like he's a what he's done there to, to now crown it with a Champions, Champions League, League. Yeah. It, 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 it's, it's, it's yeah, ridiculous yeah. and let's not even okay they have spent money which they have but they're but like for example what we're, what we're bigging yeah. up is their back line and, like if you actually look at it they had Henderson mm-hmm. 20 million from Sunderland uh, like, yeah. with Naldem like Robertson, a, a, a relegated yeah. player, Robertson, Robertson like a relegated no, these are players he's actually Matip, developed. Matip, Even Mo Salah coming Matip. in wasn't this prolific exactly. top goal scorer. Salah, he's he's a, a, Mane he's was Salah. signed from so, Southampton, exactly. let's remember. Ma- yeah, mm. Mane's price, if you look at it now, you're thinking, you know what? At the time it, it looked mad, yeah, but yeah. now it's to be fair. bargain. Now Even, yeah. again, like we had a conversation about the two goalkeepers, right? But he doesn't have to make these crazy saves. He's just consistent with the saves. Mm. Every shot that went He's to him yesterday, no, they were dead. They, they were dead shots. They were dead. But, but done his day. Day. You've seen keepers do not not save them. Especially up to last year as well. I think the exactly. only one that really <laughs> kind of tested him was Ericsson's free kick. Yeah, but the big chance that, was, that was the big chance yeah. was, was, was it Mora, Mora. Mora. and oh it fell to him. Mm-hmm. Do you know what? I when I heard the name as well, I thought, Yo, that was the big chance. Once that happened, then the game was gone. Quick one, Pochettino. In terms of going on to fulfil what we think his potential manager and whatnot, does he have to leave to Tottenham? Does he, he's can he either do it got though? to be given a dumb amount of money to spend this summer to actually boost his team yeah, and be backed because mm. he's shown that he can actually coach and do stuff with this team mm. or yeah he's got to leave if, I, if I, he's not backed he leaves uh, and, I, and I don't blame I him if, Bayern, was, if Bayern came for, if let's say someone like Bayern came in now and said listen <laughs> We've got the money here. We've got players. We want to do something you've done at Tottenham. Isn't Juve after? I think Juve right after? now, I don't There's, think yeah. he will. I think another year, I think he's got to be given this summer to at least spend because he's built all of this and then to not have mm. any money behind it as well. So it, essentially, if Spurs didn't win anything at the back end of next year, he's probably I don't blame him for the war. But if I was Poch, if I was Poch, I'm leaving this summer, man. Honestly. While their stock is the, high, yeah. The reason, if I'm Poch, I'm leaving this summer. One, because my stock is is high. high. Two, he's been managing consistently for a long time right now. From, mm-hmm. He went straight from Southampton yeah. to Tottenham, mm-hmm. take a little year mm-hmm. break out like yeah, Pep yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. And three, it's like now that you, it's like, how far can you really go with this team? Like, especially because mm-hmm. you were so exposed in the final. Yeah. I just kind of think, and it's no disrespect to Spurs or whatever. But, but if I was him, I'd just be like, you know what? I've but taken why, him as far why, as why I'm, I'm not going again. Yeah. Like, that's long. Go but again and do what? Why, do you, why do you think it's changed? Because like before, before this final, we were saying he's got a new stadium coming up now. Mm. And, that's, and, and that's the only thing but I was going to say. Is at the end of the day, we still got to remember, like this is the only team that's ever spent zero and got to a Champions mm. League final. Had they won it, they would have been the first, only, and last team to do it. So for me, it's we still got to give him a bit of credit for that. Mm. But it's one of those where I think he must be back this summer. 
I don't see the benefit in him personally moving and starting fresh again. He'll just yeah. be doing another project, project for a long time. all yeah, over yeah, exactly. again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you've already Build put so it, much 100%. work into it and got so much credit for it. Yeah. Yeah. Get the icing on the cake. Because if he wins any form of silverware, yeah. Poch is crowned. But, but, it's, but it's now kind of like if he wins silverware. Now the pressure's of, coming on. Put it this but, way. But the pressure that was on he's Liverpool the one to win. Off. He's the one that's knocking off. He said he wants to go for the big two. Whether it be Premier League or Champions League, he said he's not bothered about Carabao and FA Cup. And I don't blame him. because I And you can tell that in the teams he mm. plays in those cups. Mm. But if he wins one of those big two, I think boy, I just think he'll be it's going to be tough to it go is, again. It is. Listen, if the right offer, if the right offer comes in, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm backing you. I think he's walking. Yeah. I think if the right offer comes in, you he's gone. So? But let's I talk. Juve is Juve now a good project. Juve, yeah. Bay- listen, that. Bayern's manager's been... <laughs> but I mean, if he's rejecting Juve, would he take Bayern? I think, I mean, we'll just see what happens. Really. Yeah, that's yeah, why I'll take a break if I was him, but mm. yeah, fair enough. Cool. All right. So, that's one side of North London done. We've got two more parts of North London to get into. Um... As you can see, I've brought the Europa League with me because I'm the only person <laughs> on this table to win the trophy this year. Don't touch me. Relax, relax, relax. The relax. Europa League. This guy wants to touch, touch every touch trophy touch possible this year. Your team's going to compete for next season. Don't worry. What was This guy wants to touch every trophy this year. Don't worry. Next season, when you're competing for it, I'll bring it. You'll we'll probably have a Man City kit next year. Possibly. Possibly. Sterling on the back. Raz. 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 Go and get City. Tell him. But <clears throat> for me, that final, um, I told you I didn't care about it because I know what happens here. And I've said it throughout the season and whatnot. Yeah. Chelsea are a very disorientated organisation, but we know how to win. And when it's time it to do you things, so angry. we get things done. <laughs> and yeah, like, this is, this is the reality of facts. It was a win for the culture, man. It was a I'm not gonna lie to you, it was. <laughs> it was a win that Listen, the, the whole country needed. Needed. So that's what. That's why I'm wearing this today. <laughs> it was a win that the whole country there's, needed. There's so one I'm part I wanna that. I wanna home in on, and it's if you label a game as your biggest game in a decade, mm. and Yo. you lose four one. That's mad. How to put this? So Last bad. week. Let me phrase it again. Last week, we talked about how Arsenal was talked about 18 years in the tr- Champions League. Right? Mm-hmm. Your biggest game in a decade, you lose 4-1. I'm sorry, Arsenal are not a big club anymore. That's the no. bottom line. I don't need to go into it as much, but they're not a big club anymore. <laughs> it's qualified. a fact. You think you've, you've qualified for the Europa League three you, years in a to row. To give you con- context, right? Mm. When Fulham played Juventus in the Intertoto Cup, they said that was their biggest game for a decade. Oh, wow. So to give you context, that is how wow. Arsenal are talking. And this is not me being anyhow. I've, I've just got to say how it is. Mm. Yeah. If that's how you lose a final, yeah. bear man, right? I'm not even gonna come and say, "Oh, Chelsea had injuries and whatnot," because still, we still had yeah. experienced players mm. on the pitch, yeah. Mm. But game changes. Uh, Arsenal talk. talked about how they defeat Chelsea at the beginning of the season, yeah, and it was horrid, and we're gonna mm. do it again. Yeah. Biggest game. They were mm. probably they were bookies on the favorite to win the game as well. Mm. Sarri's their dysfunctional team before the mm. game and whatnot. I know a lot of Arsenal fans are confident. Very yeah. confident. Very, yeah, very, very. All of them very flew out. People confident. paying twelve fifty to go what box park. <laughs> I know and a few mates that went out there. What is the trick? The thing is, this is why I don't need to talk here because I know my team delivers. <laughs> <laughs> That's why when you talk, I'm like, okay, because you haven't delivered. This is this listen, same listen, with your listen, team. Listen, this listen. is the reality. What like, have I you don't delivered? Need to a Sunday League trophy. <laughs> <laughs> what have you delivered? <laughs> Chelsea are delivering Europa League. What have you delivered? Like, Hazard has competed more for the Europa League than he has for the Champions League. Hey, let's, let's, give, let's give a clap to what? Hazard, man. Okay, no, oh, no. Legend leaving the league. Hazard. Come on. Legend, what Premier League about? legend, and they said that he was. But wasn't, there's a reason he why he's Cup leaving because you're winning Look, cups like that. No, difference. but that's why I said we're disoriented. That's why disoriented. And our season, us finishing third, sums up our season perfectly. We cannot compete with the other two where they are at the moment. It we was can't. a game. It was a game of. Therefore, two what, that, what, does that, what does that make us? That means that we're the best of the rest, which is disgusting. I don't want to be the best third. of the rest. You, are, you finished third, no, so you that's, are the best of the rest. I don't want to be best of the rest. That's the fact of the matter, but I don't want to be best of the rest. I want to compete with the other two. Mm. But life's not, life's, life's, Roman, life's Roman, about Roman, to get Roman, you. Can't take, you can't, can't sign anyone. And Roman so, ain't keeping up with Mansour. Real talk. A, you can't, you cannot. That's a country running a football club. <laughs> Boy, you can't keep so up. It was two average teams, two average teams playing against each other. One had a world-class player. The other had two guys that they call world-class, but they're not world-class. So... Aubameyang did nothing. 
Or people are, well, people are talking about how I say Obama Yang's name. So I'll call him <laughs> Oba today. Oba. <laughs> to call him. He didn't turn up, which I said that he He had a couple do. of chances as well. Did you see when Boy. it was... Uh, he, Cop- he, he didn't have a couple of half chances. He could even get half chances. But then half Lacazette chances. as well. See, the thing is, because... Oba has been highlighted so much. Lacazette's yeah. been getting some under Lacazette's the radar. Getting away. This guy didn't score in his last seven games no, for Arsenal no. to try and get top four. What was he? <laughs> Giroud, it, you know, it was a perfect clutch. story that Giroud, Giroud had to scored score. the clutch score because these guys He's bullied. Well, right? Arsenal fans bullied Giroud top out of the score. club. They paid and 90 Giroud, million for these two. They bullied well. Giroud. The only reason, they bu- literally, they bullied him out for someone like Lacazette. And what's Lacazette? He's just another think... Giroud. Giroud is probably better than... Giroud, Giroud plays for his country. Boy, Giroud. Yeah, Lacazette yeah, doesn't man. even play that's for his country. Boy. Giroud. That's <laughs> how crazy that is. Giroud plays for his country. But <laughs> like that. Lacazette doesn't. <laughs> it goes back to what like you said. Like, Giroud is clutch. Like, Giroud... No matter what you can say about someone's ability, right? You know them... There's certain players, like Miroslav Klose, that they... It comes to certain moments, they're doing nah, stuff. Nah, nah, nah. It's getting I'm stuff not done. No, no, no. I'm not. They're no level. way, We're no way in the same thing. But certain people will be like, oh, I get Close, what you're saying. Close is world class. Yeah, but yeah. boy, when it comes to moments, he's scoring. He does, he he's does. scoring. He delivers, same yeah. thing with Hazard. Hazard doesn't get the prolific numbers someone of his talent should get. Yeah. But when it comes to moments, mm-hmm. the boy is turning it on. Everything. That, that, that final, right? Th- that final was piss poor, right? Mm-hmm. Like, honestly, we, there's nothing anyone can say. That final was piss poor. Yeah. At three one, I wasn't even excited. I said, "What is this?" Yeah, I remember. Hazard's not even dribbling to goal. He's dribbling to centre backs to say, "You know, I just want to take one. I'm a bit bored." And then. Again, another truck suited manager. One manager comes in a suit, other one comes in a truck suit with a cigar in his pocket. This is who you lost to. How's he yeah, doing yeah, yeah, that now? <laughs> this is who you lost <laughs> to. Got a cigar at the hand ready. They change him afterwards. <laughs> Hilario, Zola, Kudichuni. Looks Every like man's a master. <laughs> <laughs> I see the picture. This is who you're losing to. Your biggest game in a decade. That's and this is why I don't have time for Arsenal or Arsenal fans I mean, because the they can't te- they can't contextualize football. They, they can't understand. Chelsea had injuries as well. Let's not it's get, get Listen, Arsenal. forget about the injuries. I don't. I don't even think it's more injuries. This is meant to be a the full strength for Arsenal. My thing is right with the injuries. The only reason why I was going is because the people that actually wanted to play this game were not playing. Hmm. When the Pedro didn't want to play this game, you think no. you think these Chelsea players want to play, bruv? Kante's running around with a knee brace like Stone Cold, bruv. <laughs> and just, kick, what's going on? He was basically what? playing right mid that yeah. game as well. But I'm happy for Awobi because he had a good game. That was a great game. And again, right. it's another bad player point. that Arsenal They're going to try and push out. No, Arsenal, exactly. They push goal. people him, like him out. Mm. They push people like Ramsey out. But then they had... And that, now they've only got a £45 million pound budget. I'm, ha- I'm glad you what, mentioned that. What, 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 what is next for Arsenal? Mean? Let's discuss it. What, what happens next for Arsenal? More Cause Europa League. <laughs> I can't see it getting any better. I thought it was going to get worse. done with this anyway, man. It's going to get worse. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Judas! I'm back! We're back! We're back! We're back, back in the League! Yeah. <laughs> We're back. You can have this. You can have it, man. Back. What is next for Arsenal? What's next for Arsenal? I think, yeah, They're personally. Lost. I think... Can I quickly interject something quickly? What? Since 2000, right? Arsenal and Liverpool won the same amount of trophies. Just to give you context of where Liverpool are going to since, Arsenal five, yeah? are, since no 2000. 2000 okay. so Arsenal are stagnant Liverpool are clawing back mm. like I think no nah, but with Arsenal it's, it's it's hard that's why I'm saying do not sack Emery because it's not it's bring, bring Pep it's Guardiola not true, in yeah. if, if you want to and let me see what Pep is going to do with but 45 million, million pounds yeah, exactly <laughs> they've got an owner who would rather fund NFL teams NBA teams the, Cronky with in. Arsenal, it's going to be very stagnant. And all I can say is they better watch out for Newcastle mm. because if them, sound, them Arab man... Shake Shake Mansell's Mansell's cousin. What, what man <laughs> saying what? My Wolves shout doesn't seem listen, too mad nah, now, isn't bro. it? It doesn't seem uh, too mad listen, now. Wolves are the said Wolves shout doesn't seem too mad now. Like, Arsenal need to now, I think, watch behind them rather than yeah. 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 trying it's, to it's catch them. Really it's not an insult. It's a thing where ultimately... It's a reality. It's a reality. Even the decline of Arsenal has not been over the past few years. It's been It's been a long time. And it has to drop now because otherwise for them to move anywhere, drop them. You know what I mean? It's crazy. It's And it's actually not fair to be honest it's not fair on the fans because these guys put their hard money nah in they deserve no, it it's fair but they deserve it they, they have too loud mouth they deserve it it's fair I don't know I wish you worse <laughs> that, all that it's board stuff is, it's a bit it's, it, you're never going to be able to get better if that's, if that's the case you get what I'm saying mm. with, if your owner's not going to be investing in you blah 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 like we know okay I'm not too sure what's happening with Chelsea but we know United we know Spurs we know City Liverpool are going to invest these guys don't even have money to by Ryan Sessegnon probably so it's like <laughs> come on bro. you know what I mean like, it's, 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 can't even it's, afford championship play. It's, 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 no, it's crazy think about it right? that was Abramovich's first game he's seen Chelsea play all season 
Oh, was he at the oh, game? Yeah, he's at the game. Oh yeah, he's allowed in Azerbaijan. Yeah, he's allowed. You know them them <laughs> blocks there. Yeah, but he's not allowed right here. That, like, that is mad. But again, like we talk about Arsenal, even Chelsea, if you they can't need sign to get anyone, rid of, mm. I think Arsenal before they sign anything though, like they yeah. Arsenal they have to player. have a massive clear if, out before they okay, move but we forward. Say clear out, right? Who are you getting rid of and mm. for what money? Mm. Yeah, that's Nacho, the thing. Uh, Koscielny, Mustafi. But thinking. if Mustafi, they're not going to get like, no money. The thing for is, players. you say Yo, this sometimes you just need a clear out. Yeah, we'll talk. Man. Listen, no, you take your four no, mil you're given. No, that's what you know they're what worth now. When you do quick sell, and you yeah, just yeah, yeah, quick yeah, time, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you get like nine hundred um, FIFA coins. Like you they're not going to get money for these you know, players. You know, also, with, with Arsenal, they, they used to they always have these youth players coming in, like in Wenger's time. What like the pipeline's not as strong as now. The holdings they all need to be given chances now. But now it's like. Would you say the same for Chelsea if you can't sign anyone? If, you, if your transfer ban continues, then definitely. I think you've actually got to give you a chance. They should cash in on Lacazette. Ozil as well. What, what they should Ozil cash in on Lacazette. I'm telling you. What's that with Ozil? Hold on, wait. I'm reinvesting the rest of the team. Nah, I meant Ozil. No, no, cash they should on cash in on Lacazette. No, you can't, you can't cash in on Ozil. Nah. Who is going to tell me in world China. Wait, someone will take not, Ozil. Why would you not cash in on Lacazette? He scored 13 he's your Premier League league goals. He's got 13 Premier League goals. Yeah, but a lot he's of the times he's been pushed out. I don't know. You can get a good 35-40 million. I still feel like I would keep him. Rondon. You can get a good 35-40 million Rondon would do good for Arsenal. No, no, no. But no banks. You can get... 35 million. No, I mean, serious. Why, why are people off this? That's for, for him. <laughs> and who can probably I'm, contribute just as much. I'll cash in on Lacazette, like, honestly. Fair enough. I'll cash in if you get the good I offer. Think, I don't think yeah. any Arsenal fan would want to cash in. I think Ozil would be the prime person. Who's yeah, yeah, buying, buying Ozil? Ozil. No, Ozil. Wants him. no one's paying money Juve for Ozil. Juve buying someone who's take funny. Juve, Ozil's Juve, Juve buy Ozil. That, that, Juve will take him on a free. You understand? <laughs> he's leaving that club Ozil with a free. Train to move, and he's not the only player that's going to leave that player. Fuck what? <laughs> Ozil missed his train to move like a couple of years oh, ago. Yeah, he he, he could have signed. He when did. he had the chance to, to leave, he signed yeah. the new deal. You know what I mean? Now, now, now Arsenal and Wenger left. Cool. And, then, yeah. and this, this, is, this is why I can't see the situation getting any better. Get They're tied down with, with shit. Like I think that, everyone's in the same. I think everyone's in the same boat. What, United as well? United, like, listen. I need to speak to my United fans, actually, please. Camera. <laughs> this season, mic, mic, this season, listen, United fans. Come on, United. It's been a tough season. <laughs> when I say this has been my worst season as a United fan, we can tell. One hundred percent. Chelsea won <laughs> the many, Europa League. Wait, wait, wait. Chelsea won the Europa, Europa League. We watched Liverpool win the Champions League. We watched City Man City the win the treble. Not even the league. They won the treble. We won. We watched them watch the treble. We got so excited with Ole. Yeah. That run, listen, I know that was the You got excited. That was the <laughs> Yes! Best. But wait, wait. That I like you, that career. You, wait, wait. That, I like that. That was the best any United oh, fan has probably change felt. Your manager, change your manager. Since yeah, Fergie, we, we were excited. Yeah? <laughs> so we went from Jose feeling like this to Ole making us feel like this. And now we've just come crashing yeah, back down. Right. Like, you know, like when you don't drink your coffee in the morning or something. <laughs> yeah. We are done. This is the worst you season ever. And we need still. to come back. So I'm just going to say major L for United fans. Isn't it? So we'll, we'll, be we'll, we'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. To Are you going to apologise as well? I don't need to apologise for anyone. Rashford top five. You've already handed out enough of Rashford is still top five. Rashford is still top five. Rashford is still like top five. We're accepting. Listen. We're accepting and that's it. We Humility. That's it. Humility. <laughs> 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 hey, didn't you not learn that now? Didn't you not learn nothing? You can't drop that. Did you not learn anything from Anthony Joshua? Be humble in the sea. Be humble. We're still going to go. Anthony. AJ. AJ's humble now. AJ's humble. Be humble in humble in defeat. We're going to discuss AJ. Ooh, <laughs> gonna discuss that's AJ. a sore one. <laughs> that's, a sore one. <laughs> <laughs> that's United like fans that. for you. Just, you know, that's bitter. So, just they try bitter. to get cheap shots just anywhere. Bitter. Oh, we're just, just bitter. telling it how it is. Just Can't bitter. even take an L in peace. <laughs> just bitter. Bitter. Look at these guys. No humility. <laughs> so, <laughs> with, with the AJ thing, season finished. Um, so he's not undefeated anymore. Hey. He's lost all of his belts hey. to someone that took a fight. Butterbean. At Sorry. six weeks. Five weeks Five notice. Weeks. Man said, "Pimp my ride." And the thing is, if <laughs> man said, "Pimp my ride," the, thing is, right, oh, the reason why this I'm is so to too much. <laughs> on boxing, the reason why this is so bad, right, is because you know usually when they're doing training camps and whatnot. Yeah. So Joshua's training camp. <laughs> and they said what? No, what? Them man. Roll up, man. Said leave the Chris and them man. Roll up. What do you want the vinyl? What the hell? That's the man again. That's the man again. Punch that by him. Nah. All right, listen. AJ is my Nigerian brother, so the thing is right. People are saying, oh, people are saying stuff like, you know what? He's gonna come back, and the thing is, that's all good and gravy. Like, he's gonna come back is one thing. 
he has to come back. It's nothing. Oh, Let me tell you something. That's what I was going to say. Going to MSG, right, as an Englishman and saying that you're going to go and try and win the American market, right? And then you go over there. Get pummeled. Everyone's supposed to, you know, you're supposed to knock the guy out. You know, it's like Big Show, everyone claps. You know what? JD flew like the whole of the UK <laughs> scene out there, yeah? Because it's supposed to be like AJ's massive thing. Uh, big coming party And thing, the thing yeah. is, not only did you get knocked out, to be way, dropped manners, four times. Manners, four times. The thing is, Barris. He got out box. If we're putting it like Boy. summary, he got out box. Bro, Personal trainers, pure gym, <laughs> Gold's gym, Lucas fitness no, 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 you missed, <laughs> you missed all, 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 all them places. The have gym, ta- Virgin the, all them places have taken a hit. <laughs> the shares are <laughs> taking a hit. It, it, it's, <laughs> it's, it's big, gone down. <laughs> listen, <laughs> the big boys are happy. <laughs> listen, <laughs> big boys are happy what today, you, boy. Listen. I need to check the stock market for people <laughs> in for pure nah. gym because I know that took a hit. Because I, I know think, that took a hit. I don't P- think pure gym took it out. I want to lose a couple of points. Pure gym took it out. You mentioned he was undefeated, obviously, and you lost it, right? Yeah. You know. I think it's a, it's a delusion because of, you know how Mayweather's d- done that thing? Yeah. People get carried away or everyone has to do that. I agree. So one, mm-hmm. well, that's one thing to point out. And I think also some of the fights even before this, Parker, 12 rounds he went there. He yeah. was, and he was just one. There's been warning right. signs. Di- fight, was D- There's Dillon, been Dylan. That was yeah. a poor Dillon, Dillon, yeah. They were both in the, the separate career at, the, at, at that point. You know, Klitschko was you know very lost to Fury as well. Yeah. So it's like, you know, do you know what maybe the it's ma- just coming. The main issue with this whole Joshua thing, right, is because no doubt, like, he's like he's disciplined and whatnot. He's going to work and he'll call back. Mm. But his whole persona was this kind of well-spoken, doesn't chat shit, and he's... Yeah, how many times and he was swearing in that press Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and he's <laughs> undefeated. <laughs> You've now taken this to the American market, which is arrogant, mm. yeah. to all of this, and this is supposed to be your coming of, like, you know what, this coming works. Mm. Yeah. And you get defeated by someone that wasn't even ranked highly by most people. <laughs> like... A man Nacho said, he, bro, a man <laughs> said, do you know Nacho what he said? Libre, he said, bro, he said, listen, he said, after the fight, we're going to eat some cake. <laughs> For me, no, and then he made the fight look like a piece of cake. My biggest thing cake. is, my thing is, yeah, you see, you see in the UK, we, our media isn't as powerful as, as the yeah. American uh-huh. one. They're the biggest hype media. I feel like, I feel like, um, when AJ has his fights here and he just has his interviews with Sky Sports and stuff, one, they always obviously ask ar- slick him because he's our hero. Mm. And two, I just think he, he's in a position of power. But then when you go on all these other shows in America, he, was, on, he like was doing that. the rounds. He was doing talks of Meek Mill. He was, do, he was doing all this type of stuff. And then these lot will tell you to your face, I think Wilder will beat you. No, but that's I think, why. I mean, he has so much pressure that's on That's why he, this fight was so important. He that's wasn't saying, going there to win. He was going there to knock whoever he, he was fought going there to out. Show that's to what show I'm saying. But then didn't he's coming of age. Do you know who the real loser in this situation is? Miller. Because you've taken drugs. Yeah, he would have got L. Oh, you've you've taken old. drugs. Yeah, you've taken drugs that, and cheated yourself out of a match. That, in hindsight now. Nah, he would have smart. No, but think about it. He's probably looking at and thinking, you know what? What? Hold on. A couple bangs, what? And he fell four times. I could have probably done that. So he has to take the L here as well. But it's it he's of course he's gonna bounce back, but Boxing's very cliche and whatnot, and now the four, the all belts are sitting within the same promotion. Mm. Do you know how hard it is to go to go and get those belts back. Remember, rematches don't have to be mandatory as well. They can be like, you know, we don't yeah, have to take the clause. Yeah, apparently he didn't have a clause in this contract. No, he, he did. I think he did. Oh, did he? But he you don't have to. You it. don't have to take clauses all the time. There's oh. been enough people that have had rematch clauses that you're not doing it. So now you're in a situation where you don't have. You don't have the chips on your table anymore. There's a reason why. There's a reason why Mayweather never fought outside of the US, and it's not. It's not. It's not for everybody. I, again, I think the lights are too much. If you look at his press conferences and you look at his talk pre um, pre the fight, yeah. he just seemed a little bit different. AJ, he kept talking about Wilder and Fury, I and think, yeah, he kept I saying he like, past yeah, yeah, he kept saying, <laughs> listen, he's a, he yeah, kept yeah, saying yeah, he's yeah, a great true. fight. I'm not trying to disrespect him, but I'm looking for the big fights. And then he, he wasn't diligent. I, in, in, I think he has to be. It has to be for me. It's Fury, Wilder, and then. Um, oh, <laughs> put, <laughs> put this way. No, 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 I don't know if I would say if I put Dylan White in there. We, the nah, reason right, you have to. White no, though, man. he smoked. Uh. He smoked White when Matt was White was fighting like he was an amateur. <laughs> White wasn't. White wasn't why even is, a boxer. Why then. Wasn't a top, since then, but, though, man. Huh? White has improved. That's what I'm saying. White was White still. Has White, was, way, White was. White was. White was. Board, be a White was borderline fight, amateur then, and it was close. So mm. imagine White now with proper camps, wasn't proper close. backing. And the thing no, is, well, it was White close. Well, he just he got stunned one he time. He always fights outside his game plan. Mm-hmm. It almost seems like he gets. But on the point he about caught up in the moment, we said five weeks, right? Yeah. Typical camp. What 12, 13 weeks? Yeah. Listen, this wasn't like a lucky win. This was he outboxed his opponent. He got outboxed. No, he did. 
he got outboxed by someone that we don't know about. Well, to <laughs> the, to the <laughs> most most of people that don't watch yeah, boxing yeah, don't yeah. know about. That tells you a lot. It's boxing things happen, but that tells you a lot about that heavyweight division and how things are. I'll be honest. I <laughs> said that it's gonna happen. I said that he's gonna knock this guy out in the third. I said, yeah, he's got enough power. What, he's gonna to do. Knock out who? I and said that Joshua thing. was gonna win in the yeah. third. Yeah. Like so when the when the bang went, I thought, yeah, it's done. I seen go up. I said, raw. So what are you so saying? What are you saying? Are we saying the cracks are showing for Joshua? the heavyweight no, division? So is Frank, great. Frank, great. Frank Warren came out. And literally went in on him and said, listen, if you've watched all of his fights, he can't protect his neck. He doesn't let his hands go. He's sloppy. About AJ. Yeah, he said that like, the signs have been shown. For him, <laughs> he, has to t- he has to think about how, because Eddie Hearn as well, Eddie Hearn wasn't expecting this. Yeah. The whole calendar now for them, the they funny, have to think the, about the what The funniest thing is the way people are coming out and saying, no, but you know, Ruiz is a good fighter. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There's a little bandwagon like, like, now, isn't it? He's, a, he's, he's a scrub. He's a scrub. <laughs> Ruiz is a scrub. <laughs> that if Wilder Put some respect him, on his he'll name. knock his he block off. schooled, AJ. No, mm. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm saying. But I'm saying people are now acting like, no, but if you check Ruiz's fights and... No, no man, Wilder will knock his block off. And so but this is the great thing, and, that's the, and that is the great thing about Wilder that with Joshua, I still don't understand. Joshua does this thing where he kind of goes into boxing fights like it's a war, like it's like, okay, in round one, it's going to happen, round seven, it's going to happen, by round 10, you know, a few jabs, and then we've got points. Adapt, it's, always, it's always points, you've got to be able to adapt. Wilder goes into a fight thinking, you know what? I'm gonna knock him out. This can't go I'm past gonna... the third because yeah. I'm probably in trouble. Deep waters. Do you know what? <laughs> so you know what? I... Also, another thing with AJ, yeah, I think um, he's been found out in a sense where he's re- over reliance on his athleticism, him being athletic. Man you know, said PMP, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Man could. Yeah, he, so could cool, just, he could just for Pogba. So cool. and, <laughs> and, and, you know, I think, uh, like, like you mentioned as well, with his um, defence, you know, it was showed there as well and it was coming up with a lot, lot of fights before he was, he was being shown and this is what happened. <laughs> Well, his chin, well, his chin listen, touched a few times. Mm. God, God, mm. please. He's not been tested like that before. God, do not let his Wilder chin. buck that chin. Yo, no. please. No. <laughs> Perspective. Wa- Fury got up. Yeah, but After Fury... After 12 seconds. He still got up. Listen. After 12 seconds. He still got up. That's perspective. Fury got up. But Fury was actually, like, knocked out. Like, hold no, on. You know when you see guys, you see guys, you know when you see guys, and they're groggy. Tweety birds. Like, Fury was not, <laughs> he was out. He was not so for my fingers, right? Three men came back, we were all confused, right? Yeah. If Josh was being T code by this Ruiz guy, right? And like, these were like, they were combinations of what they were hard bangs. Imagine if Wilder lands. Imagine That's if what I'm saying. How about his heart? No, I, I don't question his heart, man. To get up, I to get up for. I'll wait. No. I want to wait. I want to see what happens in the next few weeks. I want to see what comes out. I don't think you'll do a no, David here and be like, "Oh, my Achilles, my heartstrings." I don't nah. think you'll do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I can't question. But you can't question a fighter's I'm not heart. Questioning nah. his heart. Nah. I'm saying I want to know what comes out in the next few weeks in terms of what his camp said because he didn't look like AJ. He looks groggy. He was yeah, asking. He's, his, he's, he's asking his um his corner. I oh, think he was concussed. I think he was concussed after he got that hit on the top of his head. And for him to be Honestly, concussed from that, with all of the that, training man. tells him that okay. Yeah, but getting hit, and you can't train for the top of your head. No, but this is the thing. Why? Why has that happened? You shouldn't be getting hit in this. Ca- no, I mean it's boxing. Like, like, yeah, I don't it's know, boxing. man. I felt like Bro, yeah. That's what I'm You've gone into this fight knowing that you're as a showcase. You're going to win in three rounds, and this guy's dropped you four times. That tells me that something. That's bad. There you, that, it's that's one the thing button, losing, man. and then it's the manner in the way you lose the it. Do you know what Navy SEAL training like, is? Yeah. You know people die in Navy SEAL training? That so he survived. Drill. Listen, nah. he's going to come back. He's going to come back. It's just about, I need. To, I think they need to think about the route they take back. Because if this is someone that's he beat you. He needs to take a big fight. He needs to get that rematch. No, 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 rematch. He's a rematch. I'll be honest. I'll, I'll take the Fury Wilder I'll, I'll be honest. I'll take the domestic fight. I'll take a big a big domestic against Fury or, or Dillion, Wembley Stadium, I'd sell it out see, Dylan would be nice. and, and just do a big one. Because whoever wins Dylan. that, whoever does that is still number one contender. Yeah.